our neighborhood. Unit 2, Standard 1, Term 3, EBS. Punjula is a beautiful town. Chinu lives there with his parents. He stands in the balcony and looks around. What does he see? Now here is a picture of uh, uh, Chinu's uh, neighborhood. You can see what is happening in that and explain it to your child. Now after that you can uh, discuss with your child about your own neighborhood. Now what is a neighborhood? Our neighborhood is the area around our house. And the people who live in the neighborhood are called our neighbors. And they are known to us. And from the neighborhood we can get whatever we need for our daily lives. And uh, we should also take care of our neighborhood and keep it clean. And trees and animals are part of our neighborhood. Now where should Chinu go and get the things uh, inside the circle? Connect by drawing lines. So cycle from the cycle shop. Money either from bank or ATM. Clothes from the shop or from the tailor vegetable from the vendor or the market. Here we are going to discuss about habitats. Where does my cousins Ram, Ramya, Rekha, Raghav and Raghu live? They live in different places. I will show you the pictures. Ram lives in a village. This is his house. He has cows and hens too. The cow shed is by the side of his house. Ramya also lives in a village. She has a vegetable garden behind her house. Rekha lives in a city on the third floor in a tall building. She likes her pet dog very much. Even I want a pet dog. Okay, Chino. Raghav lives in a hill station. He is fond of flowers. He has a beautiful flower garden in front of his house. Raghav lives by the side of a river. There are many coconut trees around his house. I like the sound of the river. Our houses should always be kept clean and tidy. Houses protect us from heat, cold, rain, storm and wild animals. Observe the pictures of a village and a town. Now uh, here is a picture of village as well as in the next slide there is a picture of a town. So you can print this out and uh, discuss it with your child what is the difference between a village and the town now here we are going to talk about safety at school so what are the safety measures we should follow when we are in the school? Do not jump on desks or chair. Use a pencil sharpener to sharpen the pencil. Do not, do not use a blade. Form a queue to get into the bus. Do not put your hand or head out of the moving bus. Do not harm each other. And what are the safety uh, procedures we have to follow when we are at home? Do not play with the sharp things like knives and blades. Do not put any object into your nose and ears. Never touch switches or plugs with your hands, with uh, leaves or with twigs. Do not play on the banister or a balcony. Do not play near the stove. Do not comb your hair in the kitchen. Do not catch any insects. 
never play with fire now let's uh, check true or false we can buy vegetables and fruits from a market true we can get money from the atm true we can play with sharp object false we should not play on the road true color the star green for the correct action and red for the wrong action so the first one is wrong because the boy is putting a plug into the socket which is very dangerous second one the girl is putting sharp things in her nose which is again a wrong action third one the child is holding sharp objects in her hand which is again a wrong action the fourth one is a child swinging slowly on the swing which is a correct action and she has a adult supervision now cross out the objects that you should not play with so the answers are sharp knife a lighter and a fork next write the name of the places located in a neighborhood first is school the next one is a market place the third one is a police station the last one is a bus stand answer the following questions what is neighborhood the area around a house who are our neighbors people who live in a neighborhood what does our houses do protects us from heat cold rain and wild animals 